We all tend to go through injuries, but some of us who are sporty, like myself, tend to have nagging injuries year after year. I wanted to see what the best way to recover from these were. My name is Aaron Dansby, and I graduated with a business degree from Public Ivy with very good grades. I'm now using my knowledge to help struggling businesses make it in this competitive market. This is Aaron Helps You Out. Max Camperman is a non-operative sports medicine doctor. He's worked with countless athletes during rehabilitation to get them back into the game as soon as possible. He also works as a faculty member in the Primary Care Sports Medicine Fellowship, as well as a clinical instructor at SUNY Upstate Medical School. Aaron, what can I, what can I do for you today? Uh, I just wanted to learn a little bit about um, recovering from injuries. One of my fans had a question to figure out they sprained their ankle or something and what the best way to rehabilitate from that is. I think that starting out for rehabilitation, people should understand what the nature of the injury is, but generally speaking, ankle sprains recover pretty well with active range of motion and active mobility quickly. I think this is one of the early errors that people make in recovering from it is total rest. And they actually respond quite well to early intervention with mobility, moving, jogging, whatever the person feels like they can tolerate. Do you ever deal with uh, surgeries, post-surgery rehabilitation, or mostly just after an injury? Um, occasionally post-surgical issues, um, but usually it's like more of the long-term uh, sequelae of surgeries. Um, what are your thoughts on like implants, like replacing a joint or a hip or something? Um, in the context of arthritis or of degeneration of the joint, I think it can be a really uh, positive, it can be really beneficial for somebody. It can give somebody a new lease on life when a joint is worn out, which we see pretty often actually. I, I think I'm just a little bit curious as we move into these mechanical joints replacing people's body parts, if we're moving more towards a society of cyborgs. That new documentary came out um, by Zack Snyder, uh, The Justice League. I don't know if you've heard about that. Did you, did you say documentary? I think DC stands for Documentary Collective, um, if I'm, I'm pretty sure that's correct. So Zack Snyder took those, those people and with extraordinary abilities, obviously, and made a documentary about it. Um, but that's beside the point. I wanted to ask you more about your thoughts on moving towards a cyborg society, if you think that's the direction we're heading or... Yeah, um, so this is a good question. Um, I think that on probably some fundamental level, joint replacement does, I guess, in a sense, turn somebody into a cyborg. Um, I not sure that we're in the process, though, of like a societal change of this. Is this is this something that you? Think about or is this like a uh, do you, do you believe I guess that we're we're facing something in a in a real way in our society because of this? Well, I don't know if you noticed as I came in here, but I have hurt my wrist. Um, it was a, it was a sports injury. Mm -hmm. um, I don't mind. It. Uh, do you mind uh, checking it out? Um, th that kind of has to do with the cyborg uh, conversation. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't mind checking it out. Um, what, what do you think exactly happens when somebody's joint is replaced? Like, what's your interpretation of this? You okay? Yeah, my, my, uh, my thumb is just dislocated a bit. Um, I just thought that they took out one joint and replaced it with a, a metal mechanical... Uh, so, I mean, I think that's true, but, I, I, you know, it doesn't change fundamentally who a person is when they have a joint replaced. It's not really fundamentally different than getting a, a filling in your tooth. You know, it's not, uh, when, when fillings were invented, I don't think that we had, like, uh, some overhaul of our society where there were uh, two groups of people then after that. Right? Yeah, yeah, but could you just check out my thumb real quick? I, I'm just curious what you think I should do to... to rehabilitate recover quickly what did what did you do to your thumb uh it was it was just a sports injury okay i guess my question is it's do you think i could 
either just take off the whole thing or just the thumb and place it with the, a metal one and be just stronger? You think that's a, a, a way that a route I could go for a recovery of this injury or, or not? You serious? Yeah. No, I don't, I, I personally wouldn't recommend doing something like that. I think that this is, yeah, no, definitely not. Why would you want to do that? Recovering from an injury can take a lot of patience. That's why it's always important to practice rice. Rest and ice. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Aaron, and this has been Ask Aaron.